You will then add your one milliliter of sulfuric acid into the test tube. You want to make sure that you mix the context, contents well, which you can do by flicking the tube. The acid will also remove any unreacted starting material from the solution. In the tube, you will have the sulfuric acid as the bottom layer, and your product will be within the top layer. You will then remove the bottom layer, sulfuric acid layer, into another test tube. After you've removed the sulfuric acid layer, you will label both tubes so that you know which tube is which. You will then be adding one milliliter of three molar NaOH to your tube containing your one bromobutane. You add your one milliliter of three molar NaOH into your test tube the solution in your test tube should then turn milky you want to let the two layers in your test tube separate out and then you will be removing the top layer of NaOH with the new plastic pipette Make sure that while you're doing this experiment, you'll be saving all of your layers until you're absolutely sure that you do not need them anymore. As you can see, there are two layers that have formed. The layer with your product is on the bottom. Now you'll be adding a little bit of magnesium sulfate into the solution containing your product. This will dry it. You only need a little bit and then you will mix it thoroughly. You'll know if you've added if the solution turns and added enough if the solution turns clear. Once again, make sure that you're keeping all of your layers to make sure that you've actually retained your product. You will only discard the other layers. You only discard the other layers when you're absolutely sure your product has been obtained. Making sure that you use labels the entire time so as not to confuse anything. Now, after five minutes, you will pour out the dried liquid into a clean, dry, pre-weighed flask, and then you'll be able to weigh your final product. After you've waited five minutes, again, you want to pour your solution, your dried solution, into a pre-weighed flask. Then you will weigh your final product out. You want to make sure that you do this lab in good time because you need to make sure you have enough time for your TA to do an 